press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. Let's look at how we can use Peek and Skip in the Java Streams API. Let's take an example of a stream. I'll just do stream dot off. Let's have some numbers here. I'll just say one, two, three. Now I want to do something over the stream. I just want to filter the stream. I just wanted to filter the objects. So let's say I'll just say object. And I want to filter only by one. And I don't want one. Let's do that. So that we will get two values. Now I just do a collect and I just collect it. Right? Collectors dot do list. So these errors are coming because of the Java 8 language. Right. I just set it now. It should be going off. Yeah. So what we are doing here is we are using a stream of one, two, one, three, filtering it out saying if it is not one, then push it to the collection and finally we are just storing it in a collection right we are just doing this now have you ever imagined adding some log statements to see what are all collected inside the string so in general I have seen people using something like this they just do logger They'll create a log statement and then they'll add a logger here. So for now I can add system without printl and I'll people will say printing and do this. And finally they will do a return here. So what we are doing here is accidentally we are using filters to do something else as well. In order to do this, there are some operations which are available in the streams API. For example, peak. Peak is an operation which is useful to peak uh, in a stream. So peak is nothing but just seeing what's inside the stream. So we can use peak in order to do this. Let's remove this. So we have this working, right? Now if I want to print the objects which are not getting filtered, I can do a peak. I can just do a peek. I'll just get the object and I'll just say system.out.println peaked and the object. So this is going to print just the object and nothing else. This is not even a consumer. This is not even a terminal operation. This is going to be dependent on what is going to be happening afterwards. So since we did a filter beforehand, we are going to filter out the one, the value one. 2 and 3 will be printed because it has passed through the filter. Once the object is passed through the filter, we are just doing a peek. If we do the peek beforehand, we'll be able to see all the objects. So this will be especially helpful when you are doing a print operation or when you are doing a logging operation. So let's say you want to log all the values which are inside the um, collection and you want to log it before doing a specific operation, then you can use peek. And notice that peak is dependent on heavily on the next object which we are using we are doing a collect here so all the objects which are going to be collected will be peaked but let's say you are doing a filter again or if you are having some other operation then it might not make sense for example let's say there is a count if you are doing a count and then you are doing a peak if you see in the java 9 the api changes are done in order to make it efficient for example if you do a count it doesn't go through the streams API completely. So it just doesn't go through the stream completely if you just do a count. So in that case, peak will never make sense because peak is an intermediary operation and the intermediary operation will be dependent on the terminal operation. If there is no terminal operation and if there is a terminal operation like let's say count, then there is, gar there is no guarantee that it will work in the future versions of the API. That is why we should be very carefully using the peak. If we know that there is a terminal operation coming up next, then it is better to use peak in that case or there is no guarantee that this peak is going to be executed so this is how we can use peak in the java streams api
Now the next new one which we are going to see is skip. So let's say I want to skip two objects. Let's try using integer stream. I'll just say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's say I want to filter some values which are based on let's say the greater than let's say 3 right or 5 let's say this filter out objects filter out the integers which are greater than 5 before doing that I want to skip some objects I'll just say skip 2 so it, this is going to skip two values from the stream the initial two values from the stream and then the filter is going to up, get applied after that so subsequently the filters will be applied only from 4 to 7 so we'll be getting only 6 and 7 let's see that right so i'll just do a for each so that we can print it and let's run it so this should print only 6 and 7 because we are skipping the first two values 23 should not be printed even though it applies this particular filter we should be getting only 6 and 7 because we are skipping the first two if i just skip one object then 23 should be printed because we're just skipping the first object in the stream so this is how you can use skip in the streams api so we saw what is peak so peak can be used when you are doing any peaking operation for example if you want to interrupt a stream and you don't want to interrupt a with a functional operation but you just want to log anything or you want to print out something then you can use peak in that case make sure that the next operation is going to be a terminal operation so that you can confirm that the peak will be executed always because there is no guarantee that the api will help you in the future releases in order to work with peak next we saw how to use skip how we can skip different values from the stream I hope you guys understood how we can use peak and skip. That's it for this particular video. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.